Razak Atunwa, the PDP governorship candidate in Kwara, has commended the peaceful conduct of election in his polling unit, Berikudo, in Asa local government area. About my unit where I'm voting, where I've just voted. It's, uh, materials arrived on time, officials arrived on time, uh, voting commenced uh, on time. Uh, the conduct has been peaceful so far and orderly. Uh, I hope that is replicated uh, throughout the state and I hope that lasts uh, in this unit and everywhere uh, throughout the day. Does he foresee any issue that could mar the election? I hope they are better prepared now than last time. Uh, and I certainly hope that they, they, they conduct a free, fair and credible election. Uh, because if that is done, I, I am confident uh, and very optimistic that uh, at the end of the day, uh, people will be the Everybody should um, be calm and exercise their responsibility, vote, be orderly, be allowed to monitor, monitor the vote, the process. Uh, at a distance, uh, uh, let us shun violence, uh, let us be law abiding, and if free and fair elections uh, are conducted, let us abide by the result. If anyone is dissatisfied, I'll ask them to go to court and uh, follow the legal process. Asked if he was ready to accept the outcome, Atumwa had this to say. If, if it is free and fair and credible, of course, if it is the voice of the people, then uh, as a Democrat, I'm prepared to accept that. If it's not, uh, in my opinion, free, fair and credible, then of course I will have recourse to legal, uh, legal redress. Any observable lapses from INEC so far? So, so far, I'm, I'm um, in my unit. Um, it's not been uh, any lapse in my unit. Uh, I don't know about other places, but I suppose uh, as the day goes by, we'll begin to get reports. How would he access INEC since 1999? Well, I think we made great advance in by 2015 with the card reader uh, and the use of the uh, use copper. Uh, but I, uh, and that was a watershed of our uh, uh, advance in uh, election process. But I'm afraid we've um, regressed a bit uh, in 2019. Uh, the election, in my view, is deeply flawed. Marred by um, high irregularities, um, massive uh, malpractices, uh, and over voting, and also multiple voting, and also uh, irregularities. So we've taken about 10 steps back from 2015. I hope that um, INEC can redeem itself uh, from this particular election today uh, and going forward. But, but otherwise, I think we'd come back.